Okay, guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to find the parameter of a shape by using a grid. So, we know what the parameter is, right? We know that parameter is the total distance of all the edges of a 2D shape. Now, in this case, we have a grid right here, and we're going to be using this grid to help us figure out the parameter of a shape. Now, normally you would have the numbers of the numbers of all the sides of the shape, but in this case, we won't have the numbers. We're just going to be using the grid. Now, one thing we have to notice is that each little, how should I call it? Each little square in the grid represents one unit. Okay, so let's keep that in mind. Each square represents one unit, and we're going to be using this to find the perimeter of a shape. Okay. So the first shape we have right here, let's say we have a rectangle. And we're going to use this grid to figure out the perimeter of this shape. So here's what we're going to do. First things first, we're going to count how many little squares or little rectangles are on each side, right? So right here, we can see that there's one right here. So that's one unit. That's two units. That's three units. That's four units. So there we have it. We have one, two, three, four on this area right here. Automatically, we know that at the bottom, we're also going to have four. So we have four right here, and we have four on top. Now, on this side, let's count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. On this side, we also have one, two, three, four, five, six. So now let's do this. We have four on top, so let's write four, and then we have four at the bottom right here, so we're going to say four plus four, then we have six right along here, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, four plus four plus six and then we also have one two three four five six four plus four plus six plus six pretty simple four plus four as we know four plus four is eight right eight plus four eight plus six rather is fourteen and fourteen plus six is 20. So we have 20 right there. So therefore, the perimeter of this shape that we have right here, this shape, would be 20. Of course, it didn't really give us what units, if it's centimeters or meters or miles or inches, but so far we know that it's 20 because we have four, four units on the top, four units on the bottom, six units on this side, six units on the other side. That means four plus 4, plus 6, plus 6, which comes to a total of 20. All right, now we can erase that. Let's erase that and move on to the next thing. Let's erase it. We're going to use another shape that has a totally different dimension, so to speak. So let's, let's erase this one right here. Okay, so the other shape we're going to use, voila, right here. Remember, we're finding perimeter, therefore we're going to be counting up how many units along the top, the bottom, and both sides. Then we're going to add those units together. So now we can start counting right here. So we can say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We got 6 units, so I'm going to write 6 plus, we don't know what yet, what is yet. So we're going to count 1 two matter of fact let's do this side one two three so we have three plus let's count the bottom right here we have one two three four five six and we got six plus and now we got to go and come and count this side right here we have one two three plus three equals hmm again all we have to do is add up the total distance of 
the four sides, right? So we have 6 plus 3, 9. 9 plus 6, 15. 15 plus 3 is 18. So we have a total of 18. So therefore, the perimeter is 18. As a matter of fact, you can add it up or you can also count going around, really, but... I think it's easier to add because if you count around just to double check, you'll get the same answer. So we can do it like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we have a total of 18. And of course, if it's centimeters, it will be 18 centimeters if it's inches it would be 18 inches if it's miles it would be 18 miles right so now we can move on to another example right here an even bigger shape hmm. okay let's see again we're gonna count up the distance of all the sides right so the first side is one two three four five six this one is one two three four five six then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right? Then we can add that all up together. So, in a sense, we're going to have 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 equals 24. 24. So, again... We just found the area, not the area, I mean the perimeter of this shape right here without using the numbers on the side, the specific measurements. We just counted the, the grid blocks, the grid areas, and we have 24 going around. Or basically we have 6 on the top, 6 on one side, 6 on that side, 6 on that side, and you're just going to add 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 equals 24. And again, if you're going to count going all the way around, you're going to get 24. So let's just check it out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So the perimeter of this shape, this two-dimensional shape right here, is 24. And again, if it's inches, it will be 24 inches. If it's centimeters, it will be 24 centimeters. If it's miles, it's 24 miles. If it's feet, it's the same unit. It's going to be 24 feet. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Just adding all the sides together to find perimeter. Thank you.